Hello guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel and today's problem set is longest common prefix. We are given a list of strings and out of those strings we need to return the longest common prefix. It means the longest common substrings from the starting from all these strings. Suppose uh, we are given in this example it is flow or flow flight. So here you can directly see that uh, fl is the common substring from all these three strings right so we'll be just returning fl if you see the example dog race car car here you can see the uh, nothing is common from the starting in between all these three strings so the substring we'll be returning is the null substring right so let's see this particular example in a better view here you can see we are given the string uh, floor flow and flight and we are representing it like this zeroth is the zeroth string uh, first row is the first uh, index string and second row is the second row index string right and now what I'm going to do is first of all I will calculate the minimum length of, uh, of uh, out of these three strings that would be four right so I'll be iterating till this part and till this part iterating from zero I'll check whether the three strings character at each index are similar if they are similar I'm appending f they are similar then it will be fl right and here we go, didn't got the similar as the second string second index value is not similar to the zeroth and first row uh, strings right so we are just returning the fl here so that's the clear cut idea which we're gonna follow here so let's code the problem and here we are given the string and first as as considered we're gonna calculate the minimum length for that it would be min len and uh, uh, initially i'll be taking the length of the this particular first string that would be len of str s of zero right and getting the length of this particular string i'll be calculating with the rest of the strings in particular in this list so for i in range one comma len of strs right and i'll be updating min length if i encounter any minimum length then this that would be len of strs of i now from here i got the minimum length now what i will be doing i will be just looping it from for i in range min len right and here i'll be uh, declaring a null list uh, sorry null string so as to add the common very uh, common characters to it for that i am just appending uh, i'll be appending those characters to this add string right so for initially initial one i'll be taking the reference of the first character of the first list first uh, string that would be strs of zero of i right so basically i'll be comparing all the uh, so here i took the first as my reference character and these two will be compared with this one in the second iteration i'll be taking this one as my reference character and these two character would be um, checked with this character right so for j in range one comma len of strs right now what we're we gonna do we're gonna just check it that is if uh, strs of j and jth string and ith column not equals to si then it means we're gonna just return the add right else we uh, else we're gonna add si in that in this right and in the final we're gonna just return the add one also we're gonna consider the one boundary case that is if uh, the length of this string if suppose there is no string in this list then we're just gonna return the empty value if len of strs double equals to zero then just return empty string because nothing will be there to compare now copy this part and in the lead code just paste it we'll see whether it get passed or not 
first run it okay we got one error your input output is this expected null so why we are getting this why we are getting this okay sorry sorry now let's run the code this code passed here now let's submit it yeah it got accepted so i'll tell you why i was getting this runtime error i did a very foolish mistake that was i wasn't considering this boundary case you have to consider this boundary case otherwise you will get runtime error because there will be no index value at zero to fetch at strs if the strs is null so please do consider the boundary cases right thank you so much hope you understand this particular uh, question if not then please try to draw similar kind of array by yourself and try to take different different examples and run and iterate towards uh, on this loop right so thank you so much for being here thank you so much